This short video is going to teach you how to create a Dropbox account. The first thing you need to go to is to do is to go to Dropbox.com. So any web browser you have, um, go to www.dropbox.com. You'll come to this page and you'll see there's a. You can learn more about it with these links down there. But the easiest thing to do is to just go ahead and click this download Dropbox thing. <clears throat> it's going to ask you if you want to save the application. You can save it or if you want to run it directly from its location, you can do that. Once it's downloaded the application, you'll get this request to run the installer. So go ahead and hit run. Your computer may ask you to confirm whether you want to run the application. You're going to hit yes. You're then going to install the application by clicking the install button. It's going to confirm where and how you want to install it. Then it's going to ask you whether you do or don't have a Dropbox account. You're going to click next. You're going to Fill out your name, your email, and a password, and it's going to give you your tell you what your computer's name is. You're going to click next. It will then ask you what size Dropbox you want to create. From here, you can actually create a basic free one, or you can go ahead and pay the fees to get the larger Dropbox if you want. You click next. Um, you can either at this point hit typical, which is uh, what you could do. I'm always curious as to what the different settings are inside of here, so I'm going to hit advanced. It's going to ask you where you want to create the Dropbox. So here's where you can select just any old folder on your computer. So um, that's the default location that it's going to put it, but you can change that to be wherever you want. I'm just going to accept the default. Hit Next. Um, again, you can um, selectively sync different things if you want, or just say sync all of the folders that happen to be in your Dropbox. So if you have a folder that you don't want it to sync or exclude, you can click this button, hit the selective sync, and you can deselect different folders inside of there. I'm going to say go ahead and sync all the folders in there. And then they show you where that Dropbox folder is, so you can actually see where it is on your computer. Um, again, this is the default location under the Users folder, but if you change the location, it could be there. Um, at this point, this is the tour. We're just going to go through this. It's going to teach you that you can log on to Dropbox.com to see your files there. It's also going to show you that it's going to put a little icon in the system tray that you can uh, click on to see the files in the Dropbox quickly. Um, last. Uh, pretty much there's a way to uh, share what's in your Dropbox publicly by right-clicking on it and selecting the Dropbox and saying share this folder. And that is it. From here you can start dragging and dropping files that will sync to the Dropbox. You can log on and get it. Um, I would also suggest that you check out, check out the Dropbox.com. They have mobile clients too. So if your cell phone is connected to the Internet, you can actually get your files in your Dropbox on your mobile device and it will take care of syncing all of that. And you click finish. It's going to open up the Dropbox itself, which are which is actually empty at this point, with the exception of the two folders that they put in by default. So thus concludes the demonstration of how to create a Dropbox. From here, it's just as simple of dragging, as, uh, dragging or dropping files into the Dropbox itself. So if I had a file folder I wanted to put in there and sync, I could drag it in there. Um, and it's going to go ahead and copy that in there and then in the background it will be synchronizing that folder with the cloud-based version. Um, on the bottom of the screen it tells me that I've added six files to it um, and if I wait long enough it will go ahead and back those files up to the cloud and then I can see them from my mobile device or I could also see them from Dropbox.com from any computer I'm at. This has been Chris Sosnowski from BMW Control Systems Integration with a helpful video on how to create a Dropbox account.